Salam alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Randomized Path of Radiance. <laughs> I don't make them like I used to. Oh, there we go. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna be. It'll be interesting to see. All right. Uh, so I do believe this is the the mansion chapter where we mansion. All right. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry, MVP. Nothing new there. Has he been? I think he's been in MVP every single map. I think he will be MVP every single map. All right, guys, are you guys ready? We get Tormund and Maram in this uh, in this battle prep. Um, and I think Stefan gives us an occult scroll. I wonder what he gives us now. All right, you have to like accept it or something, so you can't skip this. I always wondered why. It's not like. Yeah, if you. Okay, you you still get the occult scroll. Okay, well that's good to know. So, Occult Scrolls randomize into other Occult Scrolls? Either that, or that's like one hell of a coincidence. So, alright, who should we um, <coughs> give a Mastery Skill to? That is a good question. I feel like, um, I mean, Soren's an obvious choice. But does he really need it? I mean, he gets stunned, right? That's like when he paralyzes people. Well, Soren kills people anyway. Stefan already has this Mastery Skill. I guess maybe Mia once she becomes a halberdier. Luna's kind of nice. Uh, we could also give someone soul. Oh, by the way, yeah, let's go check out. Oh no, he's an archer. Uh, why can I not get like I honestly would have preferred him just as a mage at this point. Let's check out his skill. Smite with six build. It's even worse than Makalov. Yeah, this is another bencher, I think. Let's see if at least his growth rates are any good. Not that it matters. I, I don't really see myself using him regardless. Yeah, no, they're trash. I mean, he's got good skill and speed, but 23% strength. No, thank you. No, just no need for me to even look at this guy. All right, I'm excited about Muroim because in the last chapter, he was an Axe Knight. He's a Paladin. Okay, so he's not the same as he is as a boss. What? Are you f what? Not not now. Don't call me now. I'm recording a let's play. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Is what is this unit? Oh my god! Yes, what? This is ridiculous. What the hell? This is... <laughs> what the <laughs> Are you shitting me right now? I mean, yeah, Lagoos have good growth rates, but my god, capped strength and skill, almost capped... Yeah, almost capped defense. This is the most broken unit I have ever seen. This is like... Percival, if he was on copious amounts of cocaine. Wow. H how is this unit a thing? I have no idea. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, well... Let's do supports. So, uh, Kieran, no, Mordecai, you know what, why don't we just do, actually we could do Mordecai Stefan maybe. I don't know who else he supports with, but we could do, yeah, we can do, <laughs> I just realized the Mia wrist conversations are actually hilarious, because it's all about, like, Mia wants wrist to train with a sword, and he's a Myrmidon. It's really funny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you have what it takes to be a legendary swordsman. You just don't realize it. You have to screenshot that. <laughs> and there's also potential within you. <laughs> I don't think that's likely to happen. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Should I just do Sora and Ike? I don't know. Jaleth. Eh. Eh. I don't think so. I kind of want to do Ileana someone. Cause she's gonna be with me. I don't. I don't know who else she'd really support with. I mean, you could do Ileana Mia, I guess, or Ileana Seahark is actually pretty nice. 
I guess. Alright, let's do Eliana Seahark. And Mordecai Eliana. Why not? We gotta get some of these supports off. Like, I can't just keep holding them off, you know? Mia Eliana, is that something we wanna do? I don't remember. She supports with Largo, I think. I don't know what Largo is gonna be. But I think I'll hold on for now. Anyway, uh, we have some bonus experience to give away. Let's give that to Seahark, I think. Yeah, let's uh, level up Seahark. I, wa I want him to become a Berserker. Honestly, if I had a Master Seal at this point, I probably would have just promoted him. Because, uh, like, he's capped speed already. And he's gonna cap strength too, I'm fairly certain. Oh, yeah. It's too bad his skill. I don't think his skill growth is really all that good, though. No, it's, uh, it's 30%, so... Not great. Question is, should I use Kieran now that I have Stefan? Oh, wow. Blank level up. Lovely. I have a couple more levels to give away. I kind of feel like giving a level to Mordecai would be nice. Maybe get some speed on him. It would be nice if he started leveling speed, because I, I know he has the speed growth. There we go. It's probably not enough. And then, kind of want to level Riss up. Would be nice to turn him into a Swordmaster. I still don't know who I'm going to give my Occult Scroll to. Could give it to Ike to give him that shitty, like, like fall asleep skill. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Let's give a kill. Let's give one to Mia, too. I, I like Luna, too, although Soul is also really nice. Skill. Why does my Mia get such trash level ups? I, I do have to wonder. Uh, let's give one to Gatry. Why not? Yeah, it's pretty good. Not speed, but I'll take it. And then maybe Jill? Yeah, Jill's about to level up. Let's give her a level. Hit points, luck defense, eh, not great. Alright, well, I'll just get the battle preps out of the way. I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh, I'm looking through skills to hand out here, and it's funny, like, most of my guys just simply don't have the skill capacity to learn the occult scroll skills because of the skills they already come with. But I think I'm finally gonna take Provoke off Liliana, I'm just gonna give her a shade. Why not? And, um, as for Renewal, like, Mordecai is really the only one who really has the capacity for it, because it costs 15, and he has a decent amount of hit points, so I figured, you know, why not? I could give him Lethality, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give Siark a counter, because, eh, he takes damage, he'll reflect it back, maybe, we'll see. Uh, and, uh, I also have some stat boosters to give away. I'm gonna give the Draco Shield to Mia. I know she doesn't usually rely on her defense, but in the off chance that she does, it would be nice for her to take a little bit less damage. Now, this is, might seem a little bit weird to some of you, but I'm actually just gonna give the Seraph Robe to Ileana. Reason being is, she's in range where she gets one-shot by things. Now she won't get one-shot by things. If I put her in range accidentally, I don't have to reset. Some people might think that's dumb, like I should give the Angelic Rope to someone who sees a lot of combat. For me, personally, if it, if it allows me to, to avoid a reset, I think it's a worthy stat booster. Call it like a Manx insurance. Like, people on stream always go crazy when I do this. I remember Mecha always used to chew me out whenever I gave like an Angelic Rope to Sarah in FE7 or something, but it's like, I like doing it. It makes me less likely to have to reset my entire game. Maybe that's a bit dumb, but that's my reasoning. Anyway, this is actually one of my least favorite maps in Path of Radiance, right here, because it would be so much more fun if there was like a crackable wall or a door here or something, because look at the path you're forced to take. You have to go like this, and you have to go like this, and like this, and then you get a little bit of choice towards the end, but it's... Generally, I think this is like probably one of the worst designed maps in Path of Radiance, but we do get Devdon, and he's a paladin with guard, okay. Let's take a look at his bases. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're not Marim basis, but that's a bit unfair to really, you know, compare anyone to Marim. So let's see if we can find his growths. Here they are. Yeah, they're they're pretty passable. I mean, he's kind of slow. 15% speed is a little bad, but, um... I mean, all of his bases are decent. They're better than Titania at this point, so I'm definitely gonna use him. Who recruits him anyway? Uh, again, it's like children, right? So I have to bring either Mist, Tormod, or... Soph, I think? I don't remember. I guess I can just bring Tormod. I don't actually remember who- Soren, I think, recruits him, right? I actually need to check this. Yes, Soren does recruit Devdon, so I don't need to field any of the other kids. He's got B-rank in Swords and Lances, which is nice. 
Yeah, I think this is, like, again, I just got, like, the best paladin in the world, so it's kind of hard to be excited for a paladin, but there's nothing to scoff at when it comes to this paladin. He's, he's pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna use him. Alright, uh, let's see who are we gonna bring for this mission. We definitely don't want to bring, uh, yeah, do we want to bring Jill? Maybe we do, actually. Might want to bring, ah, how are we bringing Kieran? I, I feel bad, I put so many resources into him, and then I, then I freaking get Stefan, who's just so much better. Maybe it's time to not feel Titania. Ah, she's really good, she's really good. Like, come on, Manx, she's really, really good. I guess we can not feel the uh, Jill. I'm sorry, Jill fanboys. I'm really sorry. Also, honestly, I feel like I should probably field Oscar, because he can open doors. And that's nice on this map, so I'm sorry. Someone else has to go. And that someone else is probably Titania. Yeah, let's, um... Because bringing Oscar is pretty important, I think, for maps such as this. And, uh, yeah, I like to put the slow units in the front and the fast units in the back. There we go. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I know I have sword in the front. Call me a hypocrite if you want, but that's how I like to do things. Oh, I didn't check out the boss. We should do that. So, where's the boss? Here's the boss. He's an assassin. <laughs> He's gonna be easy. <laughs> I mean, stats are terrifying. I don't know why- I don't know why bosses are so busted in this randomizer. Here's a sniper. Yeah, the pr the, pr the pre-promoted guys are pretty scary as well. The regular goons are a little bit more scary than normal, I think, but not by much. Hi, I'm Soren. <laughs> how you guys how you guys doing? <laughs> God, he breaks the game. And I haven't even used Miram yet. Gatry is like Soren, but not fast. Oh my god. I, I love how Stefan can still use the vague Cotty. You know what, maybe I'll just pick up some of these lower units, you know? Why not? There's no point in not picking up and rescuing here. I don't actually have that many mounted units on my team, funnily enough. I wonder, can Oscar pick up Ike? No, he cannot. Oscar's pretty s Oh, I just... I just messed up. I just messed up. Yes, yeah, Shade, though. Let's see how good Shade is right now, because I don't think they should go for him. Also, yeah, right. Ranged weapons. Should have given him a javelin, I guess. Nah, they still go for him. Yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, they still go for him. I'm so good at this game. I swear to God, guys. I'm, I'm good at this game. <laughs> I'm really good at this game, I promise. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. I think you can... Oh, cool. Gamble skill. That, 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 that's my favorite. I love Gamble. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Soren can just massacre the entire throne room with the flame lens. Oh, n come on. No, not again. Not again. Oh, wow. Okay, he doubles. Nice. He has shade. Shade apparently does not help <laughs> at all. That's nice to see. You guys want to see, by the way, how broken Moram is? <laughs> oh, what is this unit? Oh my god, what is this unit? Okay, I wanna, I wanna see if Soren can massacre this entire throne room. By the way, I'm gonna have some fun here. Yeah, that's right. Come at me. We're gonna have some fun. This unit is completely busted. Yeah, let's, uh, let's focus on giving some kills to the unpromoted guys. I mean, I would actually unironically like for Gatry to promote. Maybe I shouldn't just kill everything with Soren, but it's so much fun, you know, he's so broken. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, heal up. Got a new men's staff for Eliana. Again, I wonder when I'm gonna get my first Master Seal. I think if I get a Master Seal, I might just put it on Eliana to give her a mount. It'd be nice to have a mount of healer. Alright, Mordecai, let's uh, murder this guy. Ugh. Gotta love that adept. Stefan looks majestic, man. Look at him. What a cool guy. Eh, why don't we shove a little bit? I don't shove nearly enough, I think. I feel like if you don't do anything other with your movement, you should always shove. Like, there's no reason not to, you know? Oh, not again. Come on. At least he's fast. Thank God. God, I'm gonna get him killed some... Uh... 
Okay, yeah, Soren still takes damage from snipers. That's good to see. But yeah, he's probably going to clear out this entire throne room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this unit right here. <laughs> this unit is just too freaking good, man. Oh my god. I wonder who's going to be MVP of next chapter, guys. So no, he didn't double bad unit. No MVP status for you, Soren. Oh, yeah, that's right. Take that. I'm wasting my flame lance, I'm well aware, but I'm having fun, so who cares. Two damage, that's right. You know, this is what happens when you make Vibran Riders extremely good. I don't know why every Fire Emblem game doesn't don't understand how broken Vibran Lords are. Tree Houses was like, yeah. The, the, it, it, armor knight on a flying mount. That's that's not that can double people. That's not good. We probably shouldn't uh, nerf that class. Nope. Oh my god. This this class right. Oh wow. What a bad unit benched. What a bad unit. You know what? I should probably just get him. Uh, I should probably just get Soren a javelin. Cause it, like he kills things. I'm pretty sure with a javelin. He doesn't need the flame lance. I don't know why I'm wasting it this way. Luck defense resistance, you know, just in case he wasn't tanky enough. Now he's a little bit more tanky. Also, did I mention he has 11 move? It's, you know, just just soaring things. Wow, Gatry can't even kill. Bad unit. None of these other units get, <laughs> are getting any experience due to this. Actually, Gatry can be a bro and he can set up a kill for this guy. Oh no, don't damage me. What am I going to do? Use my renewal? But yeah, it would be kind of cool to get Mia to become a Halberdier. Probably gonna happen in the Serenus Forest arc, though. There we go. So, I actually have a bit of an idea. Um, when I first randomized this ROM, I was very... Um, I should've shoved. When I first randomized this ROM, I was actually very conflicted on whether or not how much I should increase growth, by, gro growth rates by. Because it's always difficult to know exactly just how much it's gonna improve, increase the difficulty. Path of Radiance hard mode is pretty easy, and I wasn't sure if my randomized squad was gonna be any good or not. So I, I st stuck at 15% because I figured, you know... I love it when they steal the boss's elixir. I figured, you know, any more than that in the early game might become impossible. So I was cautious about how much... Uh, to increase the growth rate. But looking at the game right now, I can definitely see that my units are starting to snowball. I've got two ridiculously strong promoted units in Soren and Moran. I think I'm actually gonna be comfortable upping the growth rates of all enemies by 10%, like up to 25%. I know you can, like, re-randomize a ROM and just choose to opt to increase the growth rates. I don't exactly know how it does it if it just like adds on 10% additional growth on our enemies or if it increases the already existing growth rates can be a, potentially a little scary to do that but looking at this I actually think I I'm going to um, I actually think I'm going to up the growth rates to 25% because my guys are ridiculously strong and I don't think the enemies are scale oh what the hell oh hi I'm gonna make sure he has a javelin on him I think like, these, these units are just so good, man. Alright, uh, should we... I'm not actually sure if I should... Um, I'm gonna hold Oscar back a little bit, I think, and just heal him up. Because I want to use Oscar on that room. I think one of these enemies actually drops a chest key. So maybe I don't need to use Oscar for that room. There's a lot of treasure here. A lot of treasure. Uh, this guy... Yeah, he drops a chest key. So there's actually no need to send Oscar in there. Uh, Soren, I think... Devdon recruits himself, no? I'm fairly certain he recruits himself, actually. So it should actually be fine for me to do this. And it's a Seize map, so we can probably just go and bonk the boss, right? <laughs> uh, okay, the boss is actually kind of scary. Might as well start attacking him. Oh, that's right. He has to talk conversation with Moran. I remember now. Yeah, we'll just let Moran kill that guy. Holy crap, he's so good. Alright, Seahark, let's go over here. 
The thing about increasing growth rates, though, is that you might actually screw yourself over, because growth rates makes enemies scale faster. So the higher level the enemy is, the, the quicker they grow. So if you increase growth rates by too much, you could end up in sort of like a really sticky situation in the endgame, where like every promoted enemy has capped stats. So you, you, you should also be very cautious about it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Oh, my javelin, oh no. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Here's my question to you guys. Do you think Stefan is better as a general than a swordmaster? I think he is. I think he's like a better character. Luna is, I think, a better mastery skill than the Nastra. Yeah, he... Okay, now he doesn't attack. Okay. Good to know. There we go. Down they go. I actually kind of like how you can destroy doors in Path of Radiance. It, it's very nice to be able to open up Avunes without having a thief available. I actually really like that. Anyway, I don't know if Sauron kills this guy with a javelin. Does he? Nope, he doesn't. So that's a kill for Devdon. And then Sauron can go smash the, smash the door. I think thieves should be showing up pretty soon. Oh, there's a halberdier. I have not seen a lot of skills proc on enemies. Oh, never mind, there we go. Well, I said on enemies. Luna is actually pretty bad in this game. I, I, I actually remember now that it's not that great. I remember we put Luna on Devdon in, in my Maniac Mode playthrough. I never really felt like it contributed all that much. But uh, I haven't seen like skills show up on enemies for a very long while. There's the thieves. Have the enemies like stopped getting skills? Oh, would you look at that? Huh. No enemies got skills in this chapter. That's kind of weird. Maybe that's a bug? Anyway, let's uh, recruit Devdon. Uh-oh, this won't do. Youngsters like you. Uh, I think I just want to steal this guy's men staff, honestly. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to Kanto out of here. I like how you can talk and then attack in this game. I really like it when Fire Emblem hacks do that as well. So let's uh, go over here. And yeah, we can let we can let that down. And he has a convenient armor slayer in hand, so that's nice. Ugh. Not getting a ton of experience, but oh, actually, we gotta we gotta be careful. I don't want my shit stolen. Wow, I cleared out like all the enemies. In this. I cleared out all the enemies. <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, to be fair, there is a huge difficulty spike after the Serenus Forest arc. I, at least in Maniac mode, there is. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of insane, actually. I remember, like, I got my, like, what, once you enter Dane, things really start to heat up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so where's Oscar going? I think I'm just gonna pick up Oscar with Gatry and like carry him over here. I think that probably is the best way to do it, and then we can go and smash open this door with Riz. And we can just put Ike in a position to cease. Again, sadly Mordecai cannot open doors. Which is a bit sad, I wonder why he can't. I guess you have to be a thief and have the... Th I think I actually know why he can't open door. I think, like, opening locks is like a thief class skill, but I think it transfers over, so... If you start out as an assassin, and you, you were never a thief, then I don't think you get that skill, and I think that's why Mordecai can't open doors. So it kind of makes sense in a way. Alright, two chests, let's see. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what? Oh, that's right, assassins can steal, of course. I am a moron, <laughs> of course they can. Oh no, don't vantage me, bro. Wait, he doesn't have lethality, does he? I should probably check that before I do anything else. Can I steal his men? Yes. I mean, I can buy them, but it's a thousand gold, you know? Ah! Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll just let Mia kill the boss or something. Probably works. She needs the experience. So yeah, now we pretty much just need to get the chests, and we can- we're good to go. This was a ridic- probably one of the easiest chapters I've had in a while. Again, Path of Radiance does have scaling issues. Uh, this map was not particularly difficult in, uh, Radiant- or Radiant Mode, I almost- Oh, why didn't they call it that? Radiant Mode? That's so much better than Maniac! Radiant Mode! 
Man, why don't I... Why don't they pay me to make these games? Radiant mode, that's perfect. Radiant difficulty. Sounds a bit weird, I guess. Radiant. Radiant mode. Radiant mode done. Okay, can you one-shot this guy? You should be. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I'm gonna keep soaring around and I'm gonna break the door with... I think there's some enemies inside here. Fairly certain there are. Uh, Ike is capped, so I don't particularly care about... Uh, I guess we could give Devdon, like, a Steel Lance. Why not? He should have the strength to wield it, right? It's pretty strong. Oh, he's gonna use the Vulnerary now. He's gonna use the Vulnerary he stole from me. Oh my god, that's so dumb. And yeah, soldiers do spawn here for a very long while. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna use Arc to take on them. Like, he could probably promote here, I think. Alright, let's break open the door. What do we have on the inside? We have mostly Myrmidons. Okay. That's fine. I guess you can equip a Javelin, have some fun with them. And then we'll, uh... Should we... Wait, do they drop chest keys? They might. Uh, no. So we'll keep Oscar here for, for, for when that happens. Alright, let's go get the chests. Brave Lance? Yes, please. Finally, some good randomized loot. It's about freaking time. Alright, let's see if we can finish off the boss now. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, this is actually good if he hits. Come on, Moran. Let's go. Let's get him. Yes, yeah, right. Maybe Mia can actually get the kill now. That'd be pretty sweet. Oof. This guy is scary, man. Why is this guy so scary, man? Get him. Oh, come on. Right, how about Mordecai? Oh, okay, fine. There you go. Go get him. Alright, we got the boss. That's a full level for Mordecai. Come on, get some more speed. 12 speed, let's go. Yes! Amazing. Good job, Mordecai. And I get a dagger. That's convenient. Let's not cease, because we still got some stuff to do. Let's not cease, because we still got some... I'm going to leave that. Should I just... I should probably just steal this guy's men's stuff. Anyone have any chest keys, or do I need to get... I guess I need to get Oscar down here to get the, the last chests. Probably a good idea. Yeah, CR can just murder all these reinforcements. These these guys are basically free XP. Okay, I hope Soren kill. Ow. <laughs> okay, that kind of hurts. Not gonna lie, that actually really hurt. Oh, Soren's probably not gonna be able to double these guys. They're fast. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's kind of annoying. Oh, wow, hi. Reinforcements. Why did I put Renewal on Mordecai? Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> That's probably, like, the most annoying thing ever. Okay, um... Okay, now I have to kill these guys. That's kind of annoying. I could maybe send Oscar in if he doesn't die. Let's see if this guy kills him. He does. Okay, well, never mind then. Alright, Devdon, can you... You cannot one run this guy. How about this guy? Yes, he can. Nice. Oh, wow. I've done mad. So, guard. I think that's like Pavice, right? I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Pretty sure guard is like Pavice. It like nullifies one attack. Or is it called cancel in this game? I'm actually not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can, I can actually put Oscar here. That's fine. Alright, let's see what this chest holds. A speed wing. That is nice. That is definitely nice. Alright, Moran, let's heal you up a little bit. Yoink. I can never... There, there's always, like... I feel like I always have to wait to seize this map, because there's so much more treasure, and it's so, and it's so spread out. It's, it's another reason why I'm not a big fan of this map in particular. I feel like this map, like... Um... You always end up killing the boss, and then you have to, like, spread out to get the chests. And because you don't have that many means of getting the chests... It always just turns this map into sort of like a slow crawl. Well, so I'm a little worried. I hope Sarek's gonna be fine here. His defenses aren't that great, but... It might finally give him that promotion, so maybe it's good. Also, maybe actually, maybe using a hand axe here. I seem to recall a lot of these guys having javelins, but they might actually only have iron lances on hard mode. 
a maniac mode, it puts a bunch of 1-2 range and, uh, weapons on these guys. I should probably also just use the Steel Axe, I think, because I think I need that to one-shot these guys. Although I guess I get more experience by not doing that, but I don't really think I need to play optimally. There we go, then I need to open those two chests, and then I need to transport Oscar all the way down here. Which is a bit annoying, so I think I'm just gonna make a cut. But first, let's uh, let's go and uh, get the uh, get the chest, see what's in it. There we go. Nosferatu. Okay. Well, I wish I had someone who could use it. That'd be nice. Ooh, these are all the reinforcements that show up. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there were more, but then again, I keep thinking this is maniac mode when it's not. So. All right. Let's steal the uh, men's staff. Oh, I have too many items apparently. So let's take an item off him then. I think Maram can take something of his. There we go. If only Mordecai could open chests, this would be so much better. Gotta love Riss and his inability to double. I swear to God, guys, he's gonna be a good unit one day. Yeah, I think that's actually all the enemies. I hope I still get the good bonus experience for this map. I think it's like the requirement is like 12 turns or something. Alright, what is he now? Level 19. Okay, so two more levels until he promotes 16 strength. That's really nice. I think he can use practically every axe in the game now without getting slowed down. So he is a very fast boy. And I think that's all the enemies. Yep, no more enemies left on this map. We, we beat the enemies, guys. We did it. Alright, let's get, see what's in this chest. And it's a Lagoospo, another one. Alright, I'll make a cut. Alright, let's see what this chest has. It has a... Full Guard. Oh, you still get the Full Guard. Well, if you thought Soren was broken before, guys. <laughs> and here we get a uh, Stature Frag. Yay. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's see. Alright, you guys ready for Serenus Forests? I'm not. Ah. Oh boy. Alright, let me know in the comment section if you want me to up the growth to 25%. I think it might be warranted at this point, so we'll see. Might make it really hard, but if you want me to suffer, I'll suffer. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Take care, and remember to always praise eternal beauty.